Now, tax planning in advance can be particularly useful, particularly if you're expecting a large amount of income in the next tax year, because it can help you think about what you're going to do, the next steps you're going to take in terms of actually making sure that you don't incur a significant tax liability as a result of this large income that you are expecting in your business in the upcoming tax year. Now, one of the first things you want to consider when you're looking at your year end tax planning for your business is going to be tax release and tax allowances. Now, many business owners have access to a wide variety of tax release and tax allowances for their business, which can help them significantly when it comes to reducing the taxes that they pay on their net income. So it's going to be important for you to make sure that you're actually maximizing whatever release and whatever allowances that you have. Okay. So things like your capital gains allowances, things like your dividend allowances, for instance, you want to make sure that you have fully maximized these allowances and any particular release that might be instrumental to your business before the next tax year. Next step you want to take as part of your year end tax planning is to make sure that you are actually planning for any upcoming changes. Many, many business owners fail to take into account any changes in tax rates or tax laws that might actually significantly impact the running of their business. So take, for instance, the recent announcements that came about in the spring budget, and no doubt there are going to be other announcements that will come out in the autumn budget later on this year. It's important for you to keep a close eye on what those particular rules are going to be and how, more importantly, they are going going to impact your business. Ideally, working with an accountant alongside your business is going to help significantly when it comes to being able to actually navigate around these changes and making sure that you are keeping on top of any particular changes in the tax laws that might impact your business. Next step you want to consider is to think about your current business structure. Okay. Are you in a position where you still believe that this particular business structure is the most tax efficient for your business? Or in fact, do you need to make changes to the, your current business structure to help you better maximize your tax efficiencies? Now, it is true that many businesses, when they start their business here in the UK, will often start out as sole traders. But along the line, at some point, they then move to a limited company structure because of the increased tax efficiency that they are able to capitalize on. So this is definitely a good point to think about when you are coming to the point of thinking about your year end tax planning is to sit down and reconsider whether or not the business structure or the way your business is currently structured is actually the best for you going forward. Now, the next step is to think about your income. So if you're in a situation where you might be expecting a significantly high volume of cash, you might want to consider actually delaying that to the next tax year. This is because you want to make sure that you are taking steps to reduce your tax liability, particularly in this current tax year. So this is something you want to consider is what are you going to do in relation to the timing of when you receive your income? Okay. Because this will greatly affect how much tax you're going to be paying in a particular tax year versus how much tax you're going to be paying in another tax year, okay, which is really down to when is the income going to be expected in that business. Next tip is to make sure that you accelerate your expenses. Now, what do I mean by this? What I'm basically saying is if you have any expenses, any major expenses that you can actually use, okay, in your current tax year, you want to make sure that you speed them up and make sure that you spend those expenses in the current tax year rather than the next tax year so that you can potentially be in a situation where you are reducing your current tax liability in this tax year as much as you can. Now, the next step is to make sure that you are staying organized and staying on track of your business expenses as much as possible, whether that is through the use of a business financial tracker or any other means that you can access to help you stay on top 
of managing your business expenses. This is because when it comes to time to submitting your tax return, you want to make sure that you are able to fully capitalize on all the relevant business deductions that you are liable for. This is because when it comes to actually submitting your tax returns, you want to be in a position where you can fully maximize all your tax deductions for that particular business that you are running. That leads me on to tax efficient investment. If you're a business owner and you're not already capitalizing on the tax efficiencies that come about as a result of having ISAs and pensions, then you could be really, really missing out. So this is something you want to consider is do you need to start investing in ISAs or do you need to start offering company pensions as part of the business that you're running to actually help you improve your tax efficiency. Now, if you're unsure about how to tax plan efficiently for your business, then do make sure you check the link in the description box below to find out how you can book a call and how more importantly we can help you develop your options and the best approach to a tax planning strategy for your business thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't already done so do make sure you give this video a like and make sure to subscribe and share with someone who might benefit from this i will see you in the next video